welcome to my core training video. So we're going to get started with a short warm up and then we're going to do this main set and then a cool down. All together it'll take about 30 minutes. So warm up 5 minutes, main set is 20 minutes and then the cool down is uh, another 5 minutes. So let's get started with the warm up. So we're going to stand up and just take a nice deep breath. Again, a nice deep breath. Great. Okay, let's start by getting the blood flowing with a little bit of movement in the body. Nice and gentle jog on the spot. So. Okay, and then let's kick our feet out to the side. And then some kicks forward, like this. And if you don't want to hop, you can kick like this. And now let's do some leg curls. And when you do that, pull your arms back. And then jog on the spot one more time. And then let's stop and take a nice big deep breath. Again. Great. Now let's round the shoulders back. Nice big movement. Bring your elbows back. Again, nice big movement. And let's go forward. And let's open and collapse the chest, lifting and closing. So you're rounding the back and arching the back. So we round and arch, round and arch. Now let's put our hands on our knees and do the same thing with our lower back. We're going to round the back and then arch, round, arch, flossing that spine. One more time. Okay, let's do some squats. Hands forward, straight back, bending the knees, hips, and ankles. Let's go a little deeper. One more. All right, let's shake those legs out. Put your hands on your hips and let's draw some circles with our hips one way. Each time we draw a little bit bigger. And the other way, start with a small circle. A little bit bigger. Okay, and let's just tilt the hips side to side. Take another deep breath. Again. All right, let's get to work. So hopefully you're warmed up by now. <laughs> Um, we're going to sit down on the floor and today's work is going to be done on the floor, um, the entire program. So we'll be switching from pronation to sup uh, supine position, supine position, and um, we will, you don't have to use a weight today, so it's no weight, we're just using our body weight. Um, so we're going to get started with lying leg extensions and we're going to use the pause technique in this extension, in this exercise. So we work on stabilizing the core, contracting the core muscles, the abdominals and, and um, the supporting muscles and holding the position. So we're going to lie down on the floor. First thing, lie on your back. And we're going to flex our foot, tighten our quad, 
tighten the knee and you're going to brace your core nice and strong so you squeeze your belly the whole way around think of your rib cage opening up and then collapsing and you squeeze your abdominals and your hands are going to be above your head and you're going to keep that leg engaged and you're going to think about using your abs to draw the leg up so you're going to bring your arm towards your knee and then you're going to slowly lower and you're going to pause right here hold it one two three four five and lift and hold one two three four five and hold. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Keep the quad, keep the leg engaged, foot flexed, and brace the core. If you find your lower back is arching, you can bring the other leg up like this. That'll help prevent the arch. Make sure you're pausing. One, two, three, four, five. 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 And we're going to switch legs right here. So you're going to extend the other leg. Uh, you can bend this knee, extend the other leg out, or you can keep both legs flat. It's up to you, but this helps protect the lower back more. You don't want that arching up off the floor. And here we go. Lift and lower. Keep the foot flexed of the working leg. Keep the quad engaged. Think of lifting. And you lower and pause. Lifting with the abs. Lifting with your core, I should say. Your abs is, your core is not just your abs. <laughs> Always breathing. Keep going. We're going to do five, four, three, two, last one, two sets. So we're going to switch legs, do it again. Here we go. Engage, brace and execute. 10, make sure you're holding. 9, breathing. 8, 7, 6, 5, feel that core working. 4, 3, 2, Last one, and let's switch. Here we go. 10, nine, nice and tight. Eight, seven, keep that back, keep the spine neutral. Six, you don't want it to be arching off the floor. Five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent. Good job. Okay. <clears throat> the next exercise we're going to do is called bird dog. Um, so we're going to get on our hands and knees. This is an excellent core exercise. So we're on our hands and knees and we're going to extend the opposite arm and opposite leg. When we do that, we're going to exhale. When we extend, we try not to move, we try not to flex our spine. So we're not lifting, but we flex like this or like this, okay? So you want to first stabilize the spine, take a nice big deep breath in, exhale, brace, and now we're going to lift the leg and lift the arm at the same time, keeping the spine very still. So we lift and we exhale, and we're going to sweep back like this, and do it again. That's two, three, four, five, six, work for stability, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm 
we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So this exercise, you can hold the reps a little longer if you want, but uh, we're sweeping through the movement today. So we're holding them for about a second, one to two seconds. All right, here we go. One, two, three, keep your neck in line with your spine, four, nice and stable, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Okay, sit back, take a little rest, keep my clock going so I don't lose track of time. You know how I do that. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the plank push. Um, the plank push is you go into plank position, you start in plank position, and then you move to push-up position, and then back to plank, and back to push-up, and so forth. We're going to do 10 on one side, and then we're going to take a break, and we'll do 10 on the other side. So what I mean by that is one, your natural, you will lead naturally with one arm. So just pay attention to which arm is, you're always pushing up first, so that way when we do the next set, you push with the opposite arm. So first thing we're gonna, and you can do these from your knees or your toes. So you can start like this, and then you can push up, and then come back down, or you can start from your toes, like this, and then you push up, into push up position, but then you go back down to the plank. So pick from your knees or toes, and then we're gonna get ready and go. So starting in plank position, one side, 10 reps, here we go. One, Two, bracing your core the whole time. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Excellent. All right, take a little break. We're going to do that again. So if you have water, you can have a sip. Okay, get ready. We're going to do the other lead with the other arm. So at that, that time I was leading with my right, now I'm going to lead with my left. So, <clears throat> push plank position starting, and here we go. One, two, three, brace your core, four, five, Extending the lower back. So instead of like this, we're going to lift our legs and our arms like that. So see, my trunk actually does not move. 
It's not like this, it's like this. So you're bracing, lifting your arms and legs from the, from the joints. All right, get ready. <clears throat> we are gonna hold these, actually. We're not gonna lift them up and down, so I want you to hold them and we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Here we go, and lift. Okay, so hold like this. So you're lifting the arms and the legs, bracing your core, stabilize, hold the position. Breathe, <laughs> make sure you're breathing. Hang in there, we still have 10 seconds. You'll also be working your glutes and your hamstrings, your shoulders. This is a really good workout, really good exercise. And relax. Okay, we're gonna relax for 10 seconds and then we're gonna start again, so get ready. Five seconds to go, another 30 second hold. And lift. Make sure you're breathing. Almost there. And relax, 10 second rest, 30 second hold, get ready. <sighs> we have two more to do. And hold. Breathe, concentrate, brace, brace your core. Halfway there. Keep your neck in line with your spine. And relax. We have one more to go. Okay, get ready and lift. seconds. Twenty seconds. And relax. All right, so that's it for Superman's. The next exercise we are going to do are um, rotational push-ups with the side plank, or push-up with uh, side plank, rotational side planks. So we're first going to do the push-up, then we're going to move to one side, push up on the other side. I'll demonstrate um, from your knees. So when you're doing this exercise and you're doing it from your knees, you've got to push from the chest like this, and then you turn your knees over, and then you get over into side plank, like that. And then you bring yourself back, and you do your push-up, and you turn your legs like this, and then your body, like that, and you hold, okay? From your toes, it's a little more smoother because you don't have the knee joints, the knees on the floor. So it's like this, you do your push-up, and then you can get into side plank, like that. Okay, so we are going to do 10 side planks, so it ends up with uh, five or six push-ups or something like that. So we're gonna start with the push-up, get ready, set, here we go. So push, side plank, hold. One, two, three. And push, side plank. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Push. This is number three on each side. Push. Okay, maybe it's more push ups than what I thought. <laughs> push. Hold. One, two, three. Push. Hold. One, two, three. 
Push, last one each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's finish with a push up. Excellent. All right. Okay, take a little break and we are gonna get on the ba our back for our final exercise, which is the curl up. I like the curl up because it replaces the crunch. The crunch, the old crunch that everybody used to do and some people are still doing, is actually damaging to the spine. So the curl up is a better alternative. So we lay back and you can put your fingers under the small of your back and then you lift your elbows up off the floor and they curl up like this. When you do that, you're bracing your core. So everything all here is nice and tight. So you brace like somebody's gonna punch you. So you brace your core tuck your fingers underneath, lift your elbows, and then you lift your head and neck and shoulders just up a little tiny bit, and you can feel your core tightening like that, okay? And then you release. If you mind that on your neck, you can put your hands underneath your head and do the same thing, but as long as you're not pulling on your neck like this. So some people do this, right? We don't wanna do that. We just wanna make a bed for our head, rest our head in our hands, and we still lift like that, just a little bit. You can put one leg out straight, like so. One leg out straight and do this exercise. You can also tuck one set of fingers and, and hold the other our hand behind your head. There's lots of options. Anyway, pick one and here we go. We're gonna do a set of 25 quick ones and a few of them we're gonna hold. Here we go. So you're gonna lift right here and you're just gonna make little pulses. So you go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, relax. Now we're going to do a couple of those, but we're going to hold the muscle. We're going to hold the exercise. Okay, brace, lift, hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Keep going. Breathing out as you lift. Breathing in as you hold. Or lower, I mean. <laughs> Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in when you lower. Keep going. Lift, hold. Lower. Lift, hold. Lower. One more. Lift, hold and relax. Okay, switch legs. If you have them up like that, or if you're doing like this, then you don't obviously need to switch. Anyway, get ready. We're going to do that again. First with the quick. So brace your core, lift, and let's pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Now let's do the lift and hold. Here we go. Brace. Lift and hold. Relax. Lift and hold. Lower. Lift and hold. Lower. Lift, hold. That's four. We're doing eight. Lift, hold. Lower, lift, hold. Two more to go. Lower, lift, hold. And one more. Lift, hold. And that's it. <sighs> that's our main set. So we're going to come up off the floor. I'm going to check my time to make sure. <laughs> yep. Okay, perfect. We're at 25 minutes, so we have five minutes left to stretch. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and next week I'll upload another video. So let's start by just sitting nice and comfortably, crossing your legs, relaxing your shoulders, and take a nice deep breath. Again. Okay, 
Keeping one leg tucked, put the other one out. We're going to reach for the inside of the leg. And then cross. You can repeat this video several times. Three times a week is great. One time a week is like at least if you do core training one time a week, um, you can reap the benefits from that. Okay, let's tuck the leg and extend the other one. Reach. Cross over. Breathing nice and deep. Okay, up. Let's bring our soles of our feet together. Grab them and then try to butterfly your legs, pushing your knees away, get them as close as possible to the floor. And then just keeping a flat back, you're going to lean into the stretch. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Breathing nice and deep. Okay, let's bring both feet out straight. Point your toes and lean into it until you can feel the stretch. I should say flex the feet. Now you can point your toes and lean forward. You're going to feel that stretch on the top of the leg. If you have Shin splints, this is a great stretch to do for, to help with the tight muscles, shin muscles. And then relax. Okay, let's bring one leg around and stretch the quad. Extend your body a little bit more. You can get some hip flexor stretch in there. The other side. And extend the body, lengthen it. Okay, and relax. Just sit comfortably. And we're going to lean one side. Ah, nice deep breath. Doesn't take long to do the core exercises. The 30 minutes goes by so fast. our back, place our fingers, push it out. Oh, that feels nice. Tuck your head. Lift your chin back up. Open the chest, sit tall. Deep breath in. Let's stretch the shoulder. You can hold like this, or you can do the Yoga a stretch called the eagle, like that. I like this one, you move around. And then the other side, you can also move the stretch around, up and down. Hold it where you feel you need it. Or you can do the eagle. And then back. Let's take another nice deep breath up. Let the head fall to one side as the arms come down. And then you're going to turn your chin, tuck it into your shoulder. Just relax. Move around to where you feel it's tight. And back up. Same thing. Deep breath. Falls to the other side. Turn the chin into the shoulder. up. Let's tuck the chin down into the chest. Just relax. Let's lift. Looking up. Relax. Center. And we're going to go side. You can give a little tiny gentle push. And then the other side. Center. 
center. One more deep breath. And you're all done. Good job, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.